Hello, uh, I'm Latif Madoy and of course the creative designer and director of Latif Academy Talent School and Latif Designs. And uh, right here we are in the atelier or what you would call the workshop. And uh, in front of us is a new student, it's called Wahabu. And uh, you know when we begin here, we start with patchwork. This enables them to, you know, practice with using the machine and also handling fabrics. And uh, by the time he makes about uh, four square meters, he's able to, you know, be able to uh, join pieces of garments and stuff like that. So uh, this is more of a creative workshop where we do all things as you can see and uh, there's a lot of things they learn with uh, let's say button machines, press, uh, button pressing machines with different machines as well as uh, sewing machines as you can see the strip machine. These are more of the industrial machines whereby we conduct internship for students from universities, colleges and also other schools who come to practice and upgrade their skills. So uh, this is where we do our admissions. This is the office and uh, we admit our students here and uh, you know uh, here we do not consider the level of grades for example, you know, students coming from different schools with high grades, but we consider the level of interest. So here we, we invite all interested learners, no matter what age, no gender, anyone who is interested in learning fashion and, uh, and, and arts, modeling, basically we depend on the, the level of your interest. So that's why you can see students of all ages, students from different genders, the females and the males, they are all uh, coming, just like our motto says, we share the talent. It's Latif Academy Talent School, and our motto is basically share the talent, and we share lifetime uh, fashion skill or art skills. So for all those interested learners, they normally come here from nearby the community. We try to change the society, you know, help the society, you know, uh, build up their, their life. This one is called Douglas Mutevi and uh, he's a young man, you know, trying to uh, attain skills in fashion designing but he does mostly garment accessories. He does stuff like bags, hats, you know, cross bags and uh, he's learning more. He has been here for one and a half years now and uh, he's a disabled man. As you can see, he cannot speak, he cannot hear but at least his disability has not hindered him from being able to learn something. So you can see this is one of his bags. Yeah, he's learning, and uh, he makes quite a lot of prod products like hats, as you saw. So he's getting much more experience, and uh, by the time he finishes two years, because for him it takes much more longer than any other normal person, because himself is a little bit disabled. So that's why he's staying longer. But students here normally stay for at most one year but they are always here three months and six months, you see? And uh, these are some of the projects that they work on. You know, as you can see, the jersey, t-shirts, the body says if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. All these products. Basically learning from basics to a finished product. Because uh, they also learned from this shirt. This is the shirt they are learning from. And then here are a few other products like shirts and skirts, different types of skirts, you know, from the basics to a uh, adaptations, you know, doing them in different styles, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The trousers as well. Learning from basics to finished products. 
and so many of them, you know, they are quite endless. We make all these garments just as you see me. And we make the shirts here, we make the trousers here, we make hats, we make shoes, all sorts of products, garment products. Right? <laughs> right here at Latif Academy Italian School and Latif Designs. You know, the community is so big, and uh, of course, this one room is not enough, but we also have other rooms, also the other extension as you could see. We have a uh, other room down here. From here, uh, what we call the pattern drafting, the sketches, all done here. Then the constructions are done in that room. Each one of them has a machine. They always put their machines on these tables. Whoever leaves, puts off the machine and leaves to go home. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, that's where we normally do our explanations, the illustrations from the blackboard. Yeah. Uh, that's one of my other, uh, my other arm of Latif Designs. You know, Tupac is uh, the Uganda Performer Artist Clothing Company. Because we dress so many Ugandan artists and also international artists. If you didn't know, I dressed Lake Dube, uh, Africa's reggae maestro. He was murdered, he was a South African. So I dressed him in 2003. Native designs and that's the label, you know, with the symbol of a sewing machine, Singer. FBI is not Federal Bureau of Investigation, but that's basically Fashion Base International. It, the Fashion Base International. Uh, we have the sewing machine. As you can see, the setup is more of a stage. We put the sewing machine uh, basically to inspire bypassers, people who would simply just observe us doing work like this. Maybe they can also start doing something like this. So they stand there for some good time, others even follow and uh, come here to ask a few questions. Uh, what we are doing and uh, how they can start doing things like this. So this is the reason why we put the machine outside here. Not just because we do not have enough space. We have a lot of space here, but we put this machine, you know, to help the community observe and get more inspired. That's the reason we put the machine outside here. <laughs> I do a lot of my work on stage, like I said, the setup is more of a stage because I'm a fashion performer, I do clothing live on stage. Uh, this, is a, this is an act or a fashion act that, uh, uh, that enables me you know, make clothing or outfits live on stage. It's more of a fashion performance like you would see musicians you know, perform live on stage. So this is the same thing that happens to me. I bring my stage live on stage and uh, make, different, uh, make a collection live on stage and uh, I'm a fashion performer, you can call me the Afro fashion magician. <laughs> it's such an amazing uh, act that inspires, educates, entertains and also surprises, you know, the audience. <laughs> All right. 